next 30 minutes, you'll hear these rare gems plus other super souvenirs from radio's world of commercials. See how many you can remember. I'll bet you'll be surprised and delighted. So stay tuned for a few golden words from our sponsors. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? <laughs> I think the, the YouTube PFP might be, well, on the preview, it's like in the bottom right-hand corner. Hopefully everything is set up okay. It's been a little while since I've done a stream like this. <laughs> I'd like to return to the classics. Let's go ahead and drop into the installer, huh? Ubuntu Unity 21.10 Impish Indari? Indri? Impish Indri? Ubuntu Unity 21.10 Beta. So I'm doing a couple things. A little, little bit different. My mic is a bit further away. It's in a, I'm using a different mic stand. Usually I use this boom that's like blocking part of my monitor. And if I'm not using the boom, then I've got this mic stand that's right in front of me. But this time I've got this mic that's off to the side. Well, it's a mic, it's the same mic, but it's a mic stand that's off to the side. So I'm a little bit further away, but I think that's okay. I'm probably about like foot. Not that anybody knows what the hell a foot is. Awesome, it's been a while. You miss insights from a user perspective. That's me. I try. I'm excited to look at this because I've been thinking about Unity a lot lately. So when I was testing this yesterday, I noticed the weirdest thing. You guys are probably seeing the background and you can probably see that it's purple. It's dark left, or <laughs> dark left, what is that? On the upper left, it's darker, and it slowly, like it gets brighter, the further right and uh, lower right that you get, but on my screen, it's indigo. It's like solid indigo, it's not purple at all. Kinda makes, it, I don't know what the, what the background is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be purple, like what you guys are seeing. So it's like my monitor is screwed up, like the color is way off. <laughs> you thought I quit live streams forever? No, at the very end of that, of the Medium article, I said that I wanted to say that I quit forever, but I knew that I was going to get a hankering for it. And uh, I think in the last GTA stream, I said that Distro Delves was like too much of a good thing for me. Doing it every week really burned me out and I stopped wanting to do it. So this is a bit different. I haven't done it in a month. And I wanted to 
last month. I was really itching to, and I, I held off. I think like the second or th um, maybe it was the last week of September, I was like, I'm gonna do a surprise stream. And then I stopped myself and I'm like, you know, let's let's let the let's let the desire build up a little bit so that when I finally do it, I'm really interested in it. And I am. So I'm I'm looking forward to this delve. It's not gonna be an every week thing, and it's most likely going to take place at this time. This this works way better for like my life and my family. Because when I was doing it at 9.30 my time, I had to like borrow time from everybody that needed me for like two hours. And that was a big ask, to be honest. But right now it's 5.30 a.m., nobody else is up, and I can, I can piss my morning away doing whatever I want, and this is what I choose to do. <laughs> so let's install Ubuntu Unity. So this is an unofficial Ubuntu spin, if you're not already familiar with it. I like this album. This is Bay 5. The song is called Start From Nothing. I don't know if we're going to switch over to Outrun or something more chill, but this is a pretty short album, so it'll probably get us through the installer and that's about it. So this, this looks like the regular Ubuntu installer. They're going for the purple theming. Have I done an uh, Ubuntu Studio vid? No, but you know what, FAC, I think I should because I've been interested in Ubuntu Studio for a while and I've never really touched it. So I think we might look at that one soon. But anyway, so we have purple theming, but then it's orange. I wonder if this is enforced by Unity. Not Unity, Ubiquity. I'm gonna get those mixed up. Let's just get through the installer. We've all seen the Ubuntu installer. Choose our layout, we'll connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, come on now. Where's the focus? I assumed it would be in the password. But I was wrong. I'm curious to see all the new stuff with this version too. I've spent some time trying to get Ubuntu Mate to look like Unity and it just... Especially after faffing with this in a VM. I'll show you all of the... All of the little things that Unity did that just like cannot be replicated on anything else. Dun, dun, dun. What's my overall opinion on Ubuntu? Um, I think Ubuntu is... You like the song, I like this one too. This whole album is good, it's Bay 5. I think, uh, you know, Ubuntu is good. It's a good place for people to start. Uh, I've switched away from Ubuntu. I don't use Ubuntu for anything except for work. I've gone to just plain old Debian. I use Debian testing. Oh yeah. But, you know, Ubuntu is fine. You've got corporate level support, so you know that it's going to be supported and stable for a pretty long time. I think that it is probably the vanilla ice cream of Linux distros, which isn't a bad thing. Like, not even vanilla bean, just vanilla. It, ju it works, you know, and, and nothing more, really. I don't think Ubuntu is very interesting. You know, when it first came out, it was revolutionary because it made accessible Linux desktop. But now, you know, just grabbing a Linux distro and installing it is no big thing. So I, I think that a lot of a lot of the reason for people to use Ubuntu back in the day is just like kind of gone. So it's it's fine if you like it since everything works out of the box, even though it's not so stable. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ubuntu is fine. I use Debian testing now. I, I feel like I've, I've grown out of Ubuntu. The stuff that it offers winds up being stuff I don't want. And I'm, I'm way happier on just Debian testing. And, and, and Debian's not perfect either. Like it updated the kernel from 
version 510 to 514 that broke my NVIDIA drivers. But that's a, I knew exactly what was wrong. As soon as I updated and rebooted, I lost one of my monitors. NVIDIA wasn't working. I knew exactly what it was. So uh, that just comes from using Linux from a long time. A new user wouldn't probably wouldn't have any idea what was going on, but it's easy enough to select a different kernel version. But I, I like that. I'm not a new user. I'm not an elite user. I'm just like a regular Linux user that knows my way around. And I think Debian is a good target for me. We're installing Ubuntu and I'm sitting here talking about Debian and how good it is. <laughs> EG's up early. Actually, I wake up. So I started the schedule of waking up at about 5 a.m. my time years ago because babies tend to wake up really early. And that goes on for a long time. So I got into the schedule of waking up super early and I never really shook it. And I, I kind of dig it because I've got all this time before anybody else wakes up. And like I was saying earlier, like I, I want to faff around on Linux and stream and not, you know, people out there might need me. Like people in the house might need me. So they're all sleeping right now, so nobody needs me. So this is the best time for me to stream. Oh, I just realized Bad Boy was playing. Hey, Alan. I, just, I rolled out of bed 40 minutes ago. My alarm woke me up. And I'm like, oh, time to get the stream going. Adjusting to an early schedule where you have to wake up and, and be, like, ready to go is is tough, but I don't know. Once you get there, it's like you realize it's good. Kids will do that to you. You got to be like awake and wired, trying to get ready for school every morning. Is this a VM? No, this is hardware. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. This is my Asus PB50. Am I battling for his... Uh, for the like the song's vocal space, <laughs> I can't remember what the what the singer's name is. Uh, oh, it's like B B N O dollar sign. So, uh, is this a VM? No, this is the Asus PB50. The SATA, some like it, it doesn't seem to work with SATA drives anymore. So I got a NVMe, which it calls a SATA drive. I, maybe you guys know more about this stuff than I do, but I got a little in, NVMe thing. It's like a card, you know, like this long thing. And I, I plug it in and start it up, and the system registers it as an SSD. I, can I even, can I get into disk here? I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll show you when I get into Ubuntu Unity, but it's an NVMe, I think. <laughs> I don't know how any of this stuff works. I'm sipping on my coffee. It's not very good. <laughs> Way back in the day, I used to drive out and get coffee this early in the morning. But I made this, and it's not great. Tea is better, yeah. NVMe, baby no money. Okay, that's it. Is it black coffee? No, it's black coffee with a touch of cream. NVMe's are beauties. Yeah, maybe we'll test it. I don't know, I found it in a box. <laughs> I went through my, I have a tote full of computer stuff. I used to think I wanted to keep all my computer stuff organized, but that's way too much work, so I just throw everything into a tote now. And it was at the bottom of the tote. I'm amazed it even works. So this is a really nice and pretty song, but I think it's time to switch away to something a bit different. I haven't listened to Future Funk since the last Distro Delve stream, so all this stuff is going to sound new to me. Of course, that means I haven't added to it. It'll be the same stuff. All right, 
Dan Mason, what do you got? If I, Joseph, you're still doing stuff with Endeavor, or you're going back to MX Linux? The problem with Arch is not installing it, but reinstalling I, you know, I switched to Debian testing, and for me personally, my distro hopping days are over. I, it's, it's not just that I'm happy with Debian testing, but it's that, like, switching around, especially switching my desktop to different distros, is like, there's so much churn, and I, I, a lot of times I lose work, lose progress, and I'm, I'm never happier. <laughs> hey, Rive, how's it going? I'm, like, never happier on the distro I hop to. So I, I'm just going to stick with Debian testing and then experience other distros when we live stream. I think that that's, that's healthier for me anyway. Keeps me from getting burned out looking at the same thing over and over again. Because that way when I look at Arch, it will really be the first time I've seen Arch since the last stream. It's not like I'm running it locally and then it's just like my, you know, my desktop on different hardware or whatever. This is a long install. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe my perception of time is off because I just woke up. Running Debian stable with flat packs. Yeah, I got I don't think I have snap on there at all. I think I'm flat packs all the time. Actually, I'm I'm streaming well, I mean, I'm streaming from my laptop, which is running Debian testing. And I think this is the flat pack version of OBS. Let me see. Well, it doesn't say. I don't want to mess around with my la my laptop too much. I'll end up crashing the stream or something. It took you over an hour to install Fedora. I wonder if the mirrors were having problems. Do you, does anybody remember when I that that ill-fated stream where we installed OpenSUSE Argon and it took like an hour and a half and it was broken? I'm I'm pretty sure the mirrors were screwed up. How's the Husky? I'm doing well. Ghost the Husky is laying outside in his dog bed, curled up. If you look up, if you go to your favorite search engine and type in Husky Swirl, that is exactly what he's doing right now. You have a Husky? I do. Should have looked at the title. Oh, this is Ubuntu Unity. You didn't realize it was GNOME. I mean, it's kind of it's it's you know pretend it's GNOME. I mean, I I kind of want to dig into Unity and find out like what all they've done to it. Looks modern enough for me. Can we expect an IRL vlog? It's funny that you ask that because uh, I was looking at I have a whole bunch of YouTube channels. And one of them is an old channel I have where I did like vlog, like actual IRL person vlogs. And I did them back in 2015, 2016. I hope I briefly had them on this channel. I hope that none of you remember them because they're so bad. Oh my God, I will never vlog. It's just looking at those videos made me cringe so hard at how freaking bad they were. Uh, but I, I'm not opposed to doing something similar, but not like full-blown vlogs Because <laughs> that's just not my style. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys Look at this outline I like when you look when you look at the desktop you're like, oh, okay, it's unity, but there's so many little details that they that they did to the UI that that I've never seen anywhere else. There's like this little grid that's back there, and I'm I'm thinking of this from like CSS and and I don't even know how I would do this with CSS. So the corners are rounded, that's pretty straightforward. But there's this little grid back there, and there's there's actually like two bars there. That pops up and shakes. It's super cool. But the HUD does it too. 
Uh, okay. Well, we're off to a good start. I was trying to show you guys how cool this is, and it won't go away. Okay, well. <laughs> Can I do anything? Okay. I don't know what that was. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh my goodness. Well, hey, you know what? It is beta. I don't know what the desktop is doing. It's like wigging out. This looks unwell. <laughs> Uh, Ubuntu Unity is feeling a little nauseous right now. Okay, so, have I seen the leaked uh, Windows 11 in my server? No, I don't have anything to do with that. Um, so here's, here's like the HUD thing. And again, you've got the grid that comes down. And it's thick here and it's thin here. Move your mouse over, that lights up so you can see what's over. I, like there's, it, there's so much detail. This is the dash, right? The HUD is this, right? or something. Hello. Font looks great. Look how bright that is. Yeah, this interface was way ahead of its time. I'll, I'll gush about the overall interface after we update. Broken Heart by Desired. Tell by the, the background sounds. You still have your free 10.4 CD. Sad it's no longer updated. I, I'm interested. Do you, so is this like the original Unity, just with an updated style? So is this running like Compiz and stuff? Because Unity 7 was just a plugin for Compiz, right? So if we open the monitor, we'll be able to see Compiz running, right? Yeah, there it is. Hot damn. You'll never see Wayland here. It's basically the same it was as in 1604. Oh God, why are there two? Oh, what is happening here? There's two sets of decorations going on. That's strange. Well, again, this is beta. <laughs> GNOME and Unity UIs tend to crash. Oh yeah, because this is the GNOME system monitor, right? What does Cinnamon use? I gotta turn this down just a bit. Uh, okay, this doesn't work. Do I have to close it maybe? No, okay, that just doesn't work. <laughs> Unity was killed in April 21, or 20 point, uh, 2017 when layoffs happen. What a bummer. Get kernel version 5.13. I should look at the checklist, huh? I got that thing going again. So this stream will basically end when the checklist does. That was a problem I was having when I was streaming before. I'd just like kind of run out of content. But if I follow the checklist, then when I don't have any, any more items to check off, then we're done. And I don't have to worry about it. So that might mean the stream is short, might mean it's long, but I like kind of taking my hands off of it. So the installer was Ubiquity, I think. Is there a welcome app? There doesn't appear to be a welcome app. But this is a beta, so I'm not sure if, if it has one. Uh, disk usage, kind of a, a kind of pointless to check while it's updating, but ballpark is around uh, 9.5 gigabytes. Any gaming today? Um, no, no welcome in Unity. Uh, probably no gaming today. I was thinking about, I might game tomorrow. I've got a lot of really good spooky stuff. Lubuntu uses Calamares. It wasn't a live session. Not that Cal Calamares has it. I, I think of Calamares as a live session thing, but... Main Ubuntu has switched to the new Flutter installer. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Wait, was that, in, was that Flutter that we looked at? 
I'm learning stuff as I go. Updating snaps. Might as well pull the USB. So what are you guys thinking of the way in the way of copyrighted music today? Any genres, any decades? So this is odd. I don't have Mac OS. I don't know what these are. 64 and 32 bit on SDB3. I, I'm not even sure if I have an SDB3. I don't actually because I only have I have the 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 one, the NVMe. So I have no idea what these entries are. 32 bit Mac OS. I don't know. Is there an SD card in it? No, there's nothing. Let's open up disks. Oops, that's not my password. That is. <laughs> yeah, see? There's nothing. M500. So is this an NVMe or not? It says it's an SSD. It's an SDA2, so I don't even have an SDB. Micron M500. So is this is, is this an NVMe or is this a flash drive? This this mouse sensitivity is gonna drive me nuts. We'll work with it. It's an NVMe SSD. Okay, good, excellent. So there's no welcome app. The disk usage was like nine gigabytes. How about memory usage? Snap install htop. Because why not? Oh, is it is the chat and stuff working? I didn't even check. <laughs> I this is the first time streaming distro delves from Debian, I think. Maybe not. It looks like everything's working though. So, being paranoid. Uh, get that stuff. Unity looks quite dated. I don't think it looks dated at all. I think it looks rad. Unity is timeless to me. Everything's looking good. What, what was this test? Memory usage. Oh, okay. Well, again, <laughs> I'm doing a bunch of stuff, so it's not super accurate, but I remember Unity being super lightweight. HTOP snap? Yeah, why not? We're using Ubuntu, so we might as well use snaps. EG Distro Delves. Ubuntu Impish Indri Development. Mini PC PB50, kernel version 5.13. Bet most of most of the RAM is known software. Snap made it not so lightweight. We got eight snaps installed. This is Unity 7. I thought it was Unity 8. Does Unity 8 identify itself as Unity 7? Or is Unity 8 mobile only? I might be thinking of the style. Unity 8 is mobile, I see. Comp is, is the window manager. The theme is Yaru Unity Dark. And my Ryzen 7 all the way down. 800 megabytes, okay. 30 gigs of RAM, tell me that isn't a VM. It's not, it's hardware. Where where does it say 30 gigs of RAM, I'm blind. Oh, it was, <laughs> I am literally blind. Remember when they were gonna ship their own spin of Wayland? I think Mirror is Wayland now though. Yeah, that whole thing was weird. Competing standards. I need to pull the RAM out of this PB80 or PB50, whatever this mini PC is, and put it into my laptop because it has more RAM than my laptop. But anyways. So that checks off the welcome app, which we didn't have. Disk usage, memory usage, and NeoFetch. What 
What the hell is this music? Ah. Uh, okay, now we're going to look at the desktop. I, now that I'm streaming and I've got my other computer in here, it is hot in this room. I'm going to take my jacket off. I wake up and it's like freezing cold, and now that I've got the computers going, it's really, really warm in here. <laughs> They did, Mir exists, and is on Ubuntu phone. You know, speaking of Ubuntu phone, when I went through my tote, my bin of computer parts, I found my Pine phone. And I think that it might be time to screw around with that thing again. Something I want to do with the mobile devices that I have is test out different camera apps. That seems interesting to me. Because everybody was saying that the Google camera app was super good. But I can't tell the difference between the Lineage OS camera app and Open Camera. So I'm, I'm kind of curious if there is a big difference if you use the Google camera. But anyways, that's an, easier, that's an easy enough video to make. You know, just like show some clips of the camera, take some pictures, and then do a side-by-side -side sort of thing. That might come soon. Not this month, though. I've got so many streams and stuff planned for this month. It's October, after all one of, if not the best months. So yeah, this is Unity. We're in the desktop and driver section. Style and theme. Camera FV5. I'll have to write that down. Uh, okay, so Ubuntu Unity. This is Unity 7. I don't know if everybody in chat is familiar with it, but this is pretty standard. Um, let's try to make it a little bit spooky. If we can find a cool... No, we want wallpaper. Let's see if we can find a cool background with some orange in it. Wow. That's cool, but it doesn't have the colors I'm looking for. Well, drat, I was expecting to find it right away because it's kind of October, but... Man, no luck, okay. We'll try wallpapers. Spooky. That one wallpaper is staring at you. Uh, did this... What just happened? Something changed, I'm not sure what it is. Easily my favorite out. I'm a little worried about dropping into these random subs. I don't know what I'm gonna find. Come on now. Oh, that's cool. A Shiba Inu Samurai? Darn, you know, I considered finding a spooky wallpaper but I was like, nah, come on, Reddit will have something spooky. It's October. And I'm not finding anything. Maybe we'll just skip this part. That looked good. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Well, let's just pick an interesting one. Sure. A rendition of wallpaper we've all seen a thousand times. Not that that's bad. Look at the icons, though. Do you guys like the icons? I think they might be a little bit too purple for me. The... This this little box is, is difficult. Like, there's no background. It, it just blends in. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Oh man, the resolution is messed up. Okay, let's not screw with the background. Let's just go back to that. <laughs> well, this isn't the background we had, where'd it go? There, you know what, let's go with this. <laughs> Stop screwing around. Okay, fluent icons look slick. You hate the mini desktop setting Mini distro setting password is one, isn't possible. 
Some of the stuff looks modern, other stuff looks straight out of 2014. Yeah, they they did the best with what they had. Oh, this is still purple? Well, I guess how would they style the icons and everything after the background? So if you notice the sidebar changed, now it's this warmer tone because the background, which is cool. I dig that. On the top right, we've got network widget. Uh, I don't know why this is a, a world for character map. Usually it's like an, a, a key from a keyboard icon. So we'll turn that off. We got Bluetooth. I've always liked this little network, or not network, um, notification widget up here. This would show all of your calendar events and other messages and stuff, but it's just this nice little symbolic, like, e like letter, you know? Easy to look at. I think on GNOME you have to click the count, like the actual, like, uh, date time, and then it pops open and shows you, just like, overloads you with information, and I've never really liked how GNOME does it. But Unity had it right back in 2014. Elementary OS does it pretty good too. Then we've got your, your power options, including buttons that'll take you to about this computer. Ubuntu help is right here. Your user settings. Oh, that just logged me out. Okay, well, that works too. <laughs> System settings is here. I love this layout. There's no scrolling. If you notice on GNOME, when you open settings, there's the panel on the side you have to scroll around and then there's even options that are nested deep in there. Everything that you can set is just right here. There's no scrolling. That login theme takes you back. Nice and simple. I like how everything fades out. And then when we log in, it'll probably fade in. This is all so smooth. It really was ahead of its time. Get appearance settings. Very simple. So the last time I looked at Ubuntu Unity, it had this issue. And it looks like it still does. Is it worth to is it worth it to move to Unity from Farron? No, no. Well, it's up to you. The, I mean, it's not the same experience. It's completely different. You could probably strong arm Farron OS into looking a bit like Unity, but you could never make it act like Unity. But anyways, I was talking about the issue that. Ubuntu Unity had before that they seemingly haven't fixed. Notice how the theme is blank. If I remember, I'll try this at the end of the stream, but if you set any of these, it'll break the stock theme and you can't get it back. Or maybe there's a special way of getting it back. I remember it being a thing. Make the icons a bit smaller, a bit bigger. You can change the behavior. <clears throat> You can auto hide the launcher. Isn't this supposed to be grayed out though? There's doesn't look like there's any anti-aliasing around this. Makes it look a little off. Oops. Top left corner like gnome, or just the left side. Since it's it's always there, it, that doesn't do anything. Enable workspaces. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. No lag, no stutter. It even changes the icon. Look at that. Oh, it's so slick. Love it. Add a desktop icon. Ooh, that icon is incorrect. It's symbolic and it shouldn't be. Something that Unity is known for is having that Mac OS like uh, global header bar, global top bar. So if you want the system settings for Nemo, this isn't Nautilus, this is Nemo. You can come up here, notice how that just fades in. Go to help, we got Nemo from Cinnamon. I, that's from Cinnamon, right? Oh, 
Oh man, this is so nice. But you can change it, so if you don't want it in the menu bar, you can have it in the, the application bar. And now it's up here. And none of this feels hacky either. Like this all, like if, if you tried to do this in something like uh, Mate, it, it would just be, you know, it'd just be like hacky. It wouldn't feel right. But everything just feels good in Unity, still. <laughs> Visual effects, you can basically turn compositing off. And then that's it from here. There's your settings. I think that there is tweaks. Uh, maybe I have to download that. I'll see if I can find it in a little bit. Got your screen lock. Lock screen after the screen turns off. Basic stuff. Got your online accounts. I don't know if this is the exact same backend as GNOME or if it probably is. I can't imagine Unity building this themselves. Though this would have to plug into Nemo. And maybe Nemo already has support for it, I don't know. Security and privacy. Basic stuff. Ooh, man, the slider is messed up. Bluetooth settings, color settings. Oh, it found my printer. Cool. We're about to replace that printer, actually. It's out of ink, and we have to decide whether we're just going to buy buy a new printer because ink is so expensive. That printer is ancient, man. <laughs> it's like eight years old or something. Maybe not quite that old, but it's real old. What the hell is going on here? Look at all these fire... I haven't even opened Firefox. I, I legit have not even opened Fire... Oh yeah, I did. I opened Firefox to look at Reddit. But why did it spawn all of these? Kind of weird. Unity looks like it would have it would have worked flawlessly earlier. Does anyone have a theory going on? What, would, what if Ubuntu stayed with Unity? I mean, I think it was just financial reason. Like, Unity wasn't making the company money or something. I don't know. Searching in Dash, legal notice. That was something that Canonical was doing for a while. It was like pooling your data when you search for stuff, and people really didn't like that. Everything seems to work. I haven't seen one crash, one lockup, nothing. Solid. Hey, how's it going? Uh, my voice is getting a little sore. It's been a while since I've talked this much for this long. It's only been a half an hour, man. I got to do this regularly, otherwise my, my voice can't take it. All right, so there is... The desktop, what else is there? We looked at backgrounds, we looked at the style and themes. Um, I'll take a second to see if I can find Unity tweaks. I'll just take a peek in Synaptic. Do we have Synaptic? We do. This should be easy enough to find. You're loving Unity, but sometimes it crashes. Has anybody played any games with Unity? Oh, look at that. Hmm. There it is, Unity Tweak Tool, found it. Might we get a little bit of gaming? Yeah, towards the end I might install a game and faff about, but I don't have my Steam Cat like collection or anything set up. I will now, now that people have asked me. 
Uh-oh. Do we have any compass stuff at all? No, we don't. You wouldn't even know that this was compass. Oh, man. Ooh, it crashed. Um, did I spell that right? Yeah, I did, okay. Yeah, Unity Tweak Tool died. Does not contain a key named anti-aliasing. Didn't I talk about anti-aliasing just a minute ago? That's probably not related. So Unity Tweak Tool doesn't work because uh, G-Comp, whatever, is missing something. Okay, it's unfortunate, but that is is what it is. Default apps, what does this thing come with? So this is, uh, this is this the HUD? What is it? I can't remember what this is. Dash, Dash, HUD, whatever it is. It can search for your photos, your music, your videos, your documents. What's your favorite part of the desktop? You know what it is for me? It is this. This business here. How it shoves the controls up here. This is a really good use of space. Because even on GNOME, on elementary OS, this whole area from here over is just empty unless the uh, clock is in the middle but even still like look how many menu options there are it wouldn't even get near the clock so if you had a smaller screen size i could see maybe it causing issues but that's why the clock and everything is on this side but i think that this is a really really good use of space and i know kde has a global menu I've never really felt like it worked right. Matei has a global menu and it just, it's fine, I guess, but nothing works as well as this. Like, look, it's got the, the, the themed color below it. The boxes are attached to the, the option that I'm selecting. There's a good gap between the left side here you know, and it's a standard gap, it doesn't change. This is just really freaking well done. And it's a really, really good economical use of space. I don't understand why no other desktop does this. You've got GNOME, which is like, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll use uh, hamburger menus all over the place. So we'll just put a hamburger menu in every app. See like this right here? Come on now. I've, I've always hated hamburger menus, so... I like hamburgers. I do not like hamburger menus. Even on mobile, they're obnoxious. Okay, anyways, that's enough complaining about hamburgers and all that stuff. Let's see what we have installed. We got some games. Da -da -da -da. Oh, look at all these reds. It's a good song. This is Desired again. We should start a no hamburger movement. We got backups. Ooh, this is a this is a nasty bug. So anything with gnome is gonna have double headers. Japanese music is strange. This is is this desired? I think this right. Desired's a Russian dude. Oh, this is night tempo. I don't know anything about night tempo actually. But most of this isn't Japanese music. It's just including sounds from anime and stuff because that is the aesthetic of future funk calendar calculator i think all of this is going to come from imagine if this popped open you guys saw me <laughs> So this, I mean, 
This is basically GNOME with some alternative apps. And so instead of Evolution, we have Geary. Instead of Nautilus, we have Nemo. LibreOffice is installed. We got some GNOME games installed. Shotwell. I think Shotwell's a GNOME thing though. Rhythm Box is here. Thunderbird is here too. What? So Geary and Thunderbird. You're in a parallel universe where Ubuntu stayed with Unity and Unity 9 happened. Uh, I don't know what Unity 9 would look like. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Unity 8. I like Unity 7 better. I like Unity 8, you know, like it's okay, but I like Unity, I like the classic, the timeless look of Unity 7. You know something I, I used to set up, if you go to my old videos, you might see clips of me using Ubuntu Unity, and I had a very specific setup, and I can't do it here because Unity Tweaks doesn't work. Let me try restarting. Not that that would do anything, but who knows. All right, let's switch to, let's switch, no, not this playlist. Actually, I wonder if I could get away with playing a song. We'll, we'll do that later. Let's see, I found a really good OutRun song I wanted to share with you guys. All these OutRun songs have really weird names, so it's hard to see something to remember it. Like really weird names. Is this it? No. Uh, this might be it. Highway Lovers by VHS Dreams. Unity 9 should switch to cute. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of of the opinion that there's probably a good reason why hardly anybody uses cute. I don't know if you've ever tried to use cute or cute creator, it's not good. It is, it is just not an enjoyable development experience. Unless you really like C++ and that style of development, it's very arduous. And I mean, compare that with GTK where you can open up a file and write Python, Vala, all these different languages and have something that works in a single file. Qt is not like that at all. Like it's very, it's very traditional where you have to have like just tons of supporting stuff and then you have to, it's just a very different style of development that is really like 2000s era. All right. Oh, I don't, I don't have any of my SSD stuff. I mean, I kind of do, but not, not the stuff that we used to, used to work with. What is this thing? Where'd it go? Man, well, that's okay. It's beta. Let's give it a break. I guess it's time to get the old distro delves tests, huh? Let's do it. Good luck using XML for styling. Hey, metal music. It, it, they don't, it doesn't, it's from the last time I used uh, Q. <clears throat> I tried to work with QML. And QML doesn't even use um, CSS. It uses its own funky way of styling stuff, which is really weird because QML was QML is, is like a dedicated UI building language. It's like a markup language. Why they didn't use traditional tools, they wanted to bake logic into it or whatever, but I remember having such a difficult time building a panel-based UI. Yeah. Anyways, that's cute. So if there's any, oh, that's cute. If there's any question why uh, more projects don't use Qt, it's probably because of that. 
It's just a very, it's a bear. Chrome is a GTK app. This is making you wonder how Unity 8's doing. No decent, up-to-date, cute-based web browsers. Can you really use GTK on Windows and Mac OS? I mean, yeah, you, and you can install GIMP. GIMP is GTK. But it's old GTK. I don't know. I don't think the goal of GTK is to be cross-platform, though. Whereas that is like a, a, a discrete goal of the cute framework. Falcon is abandoned? That's a shame. All right, let's get into these tests. See how Ubuntu Unity holds up. Examples? Ubuntu Free, free Culture? I don't know what that is. I need to clean this repo up. We got 7-zip with a broken header. Oh, no, it's not broken. Well, there's, yeah, actually it kind of is. <laughs> We've got APK files, RAR files, TAR files, and ZIP files. Nice. Nice. Audio files. Are you sure you want to open all these files? This will open two separate applications. Let's do it. So here is Rhythmbox. It's not playing for you guys, is it? No, I turned the output off, okay. There would be a whole bunch of me. There'd be way too much EG going on. We don't, it doesn't know what to do with MP2s. Let me try something. Looks like it can play MP2 files to me. You didn't know MP2 is a real format. I wonder why it didn't just open all of this in Rhythmbox. Because, I mean, clearly it can play everything. Even WMA files. <laughs> okay, there's your audio stuff. Photos. Is this all the same photo? Uh... Let's, let's try a couple different things here. No, image viewer. It's a weird icon. It's, it's looking at an image, but it's gray. Okay, so it can't open AVIF. Yeah, this is all the same picture. Just in time for spooky month too. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this game this month. Hey, Blackworm, it's going well. going well. HEIC, ICO, JPEG is good, XBM is uh, black and white. Man. So GNOME's image viewer can open JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and web. Uh, did it open this one? No. Good grief. It can open three formats. That is bad. Did it open the B? Yeah, okay, four. So BMP it opened to. Let's try Shotwell. Four images? That's it, really? This is the TIFF. This is the. Oh my god. What is the file name? 
Am I missing it somewhere? I can't cha I can't change this? Oh, now I can. <laughs> it didn't let me. Uh, JPEG, PNG, BMP, and TIFF. Wow. Image support is not super impressive. Though these are kind of weird formats. You don't really encounter AVIF and... Well, a I think HEIC will become more common later on, but as it stands right now, it, it supports only the very common formats and stuff. So there's your H.264, H.265, HEVC, uh, MPEG-2 is no good, MPEG-4 is okay, VC-1 is good, VP-8 is good, and VP-9 is also good. Most OS's have WebP set to open in a browser. So if I drop it here, we'll be able to see it just fine. Okay. And that's the end of the media tests. I've got this uh, little SSD that's running EXFAT. Let's take a look at that. Oh, I connected it to my laptop. <laughs> Not on my laptop. Okay, there it is. Got my VMs and my ISOs. That looks like it works just fine, though there's no icon. Not only is there no icon, but it's red when everything else is symbolic. Yucky. Do you want to empty the trash before you unmount? That's interesting. Is that a new GNOME software icon right here? No, this is the Snap Store. some updates going okay <clears throat> let's go back to the old checklist and see what we've got um, I don't have I, there's some stuff I can't do like encryption and things uh, is it using snap flat pack or app image well I think nobody's surprised to see that this is running snap as it is Ubuntu didn't you say you were sick of this? Yeah, doing it every week. I burned out on it. But I've taken a month off and now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not gonna go back to once a week though. It's just gonna be kind of a surprise weekend thing when I feel like doing it. Does EG like snaps? I used to. I used to maintain a snap. I made this. This page right here, this is me. I wrote all this. Good old slurm. So yeah, at one point I did like Snap. But it hasn't... Uh, most of the problems it had back then, it still has. So the, the team seems to be prioritizing other things. And I mean, you know, that's, that's their prerogative, I guess. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. I prefer flat pack anymore. See, I, like it, just just like Snap, flat pack had a lot of issues too. But they resolved basically all of them. Whereas Snap still has a, a lot of issues. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really used it a lot since. You know, since then, so. Kind of a good song. I'm looking for a game. I see Alan's name all over the place. I'm looking for a good game, and none of these are really interesting me. Oh, this is like Portal Mario. Sure, let's, let's give it a shot.
didn't seem to work. What's it called? Mario with a O? With a zero? Oh, there we go. Oh, dear lord. What is going on? There's two snap stores? Look at this. The community-driven uh, effort to fix it up. Well, let's give it a shot. Do I have a controller? I don't think I have a controller in here. Well, I do, but I don't I don't think that that one will work on Linux though. Stabyourself.net This works everything? Okay, cool. Oh, this is kind of impressive. Okay, we'll get to this in just a second. We have to look at the network situation. Do I see anything on my network? I do! There's Nextcloud! Look at that! And when I was going through here, I saw... Yeah, screen sharing. It's odd that you have to enable it, and then there's one option. <laughs> Eat. It's actually 11.30 p.m. You're going to get an earlier night. Have a good one. It was good having you. Thanks for stopping by. Sonic Robo Blast 2. Yeah, look at that. It found the IP address. That's cool. I like that the color is green here on these buttons or these uh, lights or whatever they are. But when you come, when you like select it, they become red. That's a nice touch. All right. So we did Bluetooth. Bluetooth seems to work okay. I guess I could try casting it. Let's let's do that really quick. My phone. Is it searching? Now it's searching. That's not the name of my phone. Waze Hub. I don't know what that is. M200, I don't think that's my phone. Oh, it is! Oh, it reset my phone's name. This used to be called Androgy. Okay, well, it found my phone. <laughs> You're drinking Pepsi Max mango flavored, and it's great. It's like drinking liquid peach. Pepsi Max, is that the, is that the Pepsi with tons of caffeine in it? And get you jacked up? So Bluetooth works, the printer works. Um, is there Samba? I've got a full throttle energy drink in the fridge behind me. I'm gonna have that later. It's the one with no sugar. Oh, okay. Installing flat pack in Endeavor is a cinch. And I like this song. There doesn't appear to be an easy way of enabling Samba sharing, but, you know, that's fine. All right, what do you guys say to some uh, copyrighted music? What do you want to listen to? Do you, did anybody know this one? I'm gonna go see if I can find a controller for my thing. So I'll, I'll let you guys listen to this. You tell me what this is.
That's a good one. You guys were right. Blind Melon, No Rain. Classic. I was listening to this song not too long ago, and it made me sad because it, it reminded me of all the incredible artists we lost in the 90s from that era. The I believe the lead singer of that song passed away. And as you heard, it's a pretty magical song, so it's always always sad. Let me see if I can find another one for you guys. With less of a sad story. 90s, the 90s was a bit, I mean, had, had some good music in there. So I'm, I'm gonna try to use a controller that I don't think will work. It's plugged in. It just uh, it's vibrating for you. And there it is. Uh oh, YouTube monkey. Is the stream having some troubles? Oh, my band. Did I get in trouble? I'm not even watching. No, everything looks fine. I'm not even watching like the stream information or anything. I'll just let you guys tell me if there's something wrong. <laughs> That's how we roll. Um, what do, oh, we were going to play Mario with this controller. Let's give it a try. Have to save all these tunes. Tell me to find. Nope, it, this does not work. So, this is irksome because the Amazon Luna controller is awesome. It is a really, really friggin' nice controller. And if you do... Linux 5.13 adds support. Well, hold on, what version is this? 
Yeah, 513 adds support for the Luna game controller. And the, that change was basically just adding an ID so that the whatever internal system it uses. Yeah, addition of the of list of devices handled by XPad. And it doesn't work, so do, maybe do I not have XPad? That would be weird. This is indeed Collective Soul. The song name is December. Oh, oh. XPad sticky note application for X? I don't think that's it. I guess it could be this. Python 2, I don't think it's this. Anyway, uh, if, if somebody watching or in the VOD knows what, what the issue with the Amazon Luna controller is, I'd love to figure it out because this controller is so nice. It has this really nice texture on the, on the grip and the button layout is, is super nice. This is just a really, really good controller. At first glance, it, like if we go back to the picture of it, it looks just like an Xbox controller, but it has these really sweet purple accents. And it's, it's, at, it's really small. It fits in my hand really, really well. I like it a lot. It's my favorite controller. I did not get mine for 70 though. That's craziness. I think maybe on the next stream, we'll try doing Amazon Luna, but I have to log into my Amazon account and stuff, and I don't really want to do that. Not right now, not after I... I need to, like, test it and make sure that everything is okay before I start doing crazy stuff. You can't resize this. Um, you know what? Let's do... Let's try a different game. What's that game that's written in Rust? You know what I'm talking about. Velerin? Hey, Ben. There it is. Should your new laptop have an AMD Ryzen or the upcoming Intel Adler? You should always go AMD. What's this? I've never seen a desert biome in this game before. Kind of cool. I, I don't have it on shuffle, do I? No. You tried installing Unity X on stock Ubuntu. It did not look like this. <laughs> this is the old Ubuntu Unity. Oh yeah, it's a good song. I like Collective Soul. Yeah, this is Unity 7. Oh man, is the version that comes from the Snap Store super far behind or something? So AMD it is. Maybe go for a Ryzen 57. What do I have in this thing? Uh, I got a 37. It's pretty good, honestly. I'm sure the 5700 would be solid. I mean, it's a beast. Eight cores, whatever. You thought I stopped Distro Delves. I did, briefly. I took a break. It was good. I, I don't know if I'm going to make the episodes anymore. I mean, like, let's be serious. I probably will at some point. But right now, I'm, I'm just... You know? These streams are just as much me chilling, listening to music while futzing around on a Linux distro as they are streaming. I was just doing them too often, and it, it stopped being fun. 
But this has been good. I'd be, I'd like to get my arms around Ubuntu Unity and see what's going on. I think I was a dwarf last time. Let's be a, let's be an undead with an axe. Wax. Yeehaw. Oh man, this, I have a real struggle with the mouse. Pan sensitivity, is that it? Da 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 da. I'm not noticing a difference. The mouse settings didn't work when I changed them. I'm having a real struggle. Is this not doing anything? Oh, there we go. Uh, I can work with this. Oh, look at the doggo. Hello, doggo. This game is so cool. Every time I play it, I'm like, wow, this game is cool. Every single time. What is the merchant doing? It looks like he's on Heelys. Like he's just cruising around. <laughs> rolling around on his Heelys. Any chance for a Halloween special, Windows 11? I love Halloween specials of anything, so there will most likely be a Distro Delves Halloween special. I don't know if it'll be Windows 11, though. I mean, if you guys want me to look at Windows 11, I would. Any thoughts on Asus ZenBook 13? I don't know anything about Zen books, but I do know about Lenovo Legions, and they are awesome. So if uh, the Zen book is anything like a Legion, I bet it's going to be pretty good. Whoa! Getting out of here. Oh yeah, you know, jumping in the water to get away from an alligator is a great plan. Yeah, that was that was probably my best plan ever. Look at the mallard. Just a duck. Man, I need to play this game more. This like every time I play it, I'm like, this is so cool. Oh dear. Now what have I done? Ooh, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> And if I play it off camera, I can figure out what I'm doing, because at this point I'm just sort of running around. Hey, you know what? What was the last distro that we looked at? I don't remember it running this well. This is running, like, flawlessly. What's that? <laughs> is that, like, a special attack? Or just mounds or something. Oh, maybe chop down trees or something? Oh, here's a campfire. Underneath a tree? That's a great place for it. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh. Wow, skeletons sure burn for a while, don't they? <laughs> you like this song? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, the glider thing is really cool. Like you should you should play it and see how it feels. It it not only does it look cool, but it, it controls really well. I'm, I'm this skeleton. What game is this? This is Velerin. Yeah, Velerin. I'm just kinda putting Ubuntu Unity through its paces. 
And I was just saying that it's running like flawlessly. I don't, I don't remember the last distro we looked at. Is that a donkey? It is. Hello, donkey. What's this? Something I can get? No. It's, it's, this is like if they took the Minecraft aesthetic and, and made it, made it like the voxels really, really small. <laughs> this is such a cool game. Look at that. The only thing I don't love is the, like that shimmer. I'm not really sure what it is. But you can see the color gradient, like of the terrain and stuff. You swear you thought this was Cube World? Does Cube World look like this? Oh, the sun's starting to come up. Yeah, it's about 7 a.m. my time. Here we go. Oh, what's this? Hello, are you good or bad? What, actually, a uh, bald eagle? <laughs> and a truffler. Hello. Okay. <laughs> you missed today's live stream. You did a little bit, but that's okay. There'll be another one at some point. What is this? Interesting. You're in the Lenovo camp? Yeah, the Legion's keyboard is... Man, this Legion is awesome. Really, really good. Good laptop. Best laptop I've ever had, for sure. Wow, this is deep. Yeah, maybe I should make an account, like a profile in this game. That way I can... That's the most beautiful deer. Yeah, that way I can just kind of play this. Whenever we do distro delves, we can compare them. Between, like, compare the performance. Oh! Wow. I'll be leaving now. Oh my god. And I'm dead. <laughs> a cultist warlord? You're getting some Pokemon vibes? So I think that dungeon is a little bit too strong for me. Take that apple. Can I eat it? Maybe I? Yeah, I gotta figure out how to play this. I don't even know how to get out of my inventory. Oh, you can craft? General combat. How do I get out? That was a rabbit. Can I kill you? It's a jackalope. Soft furs, okay. Man, this is this game is cool. <laughs> Oh, a road. Is this all procedurally generated? You like the way that you announce it live before? That way you can watch you're looking for random things to do? Yeah, I, I didn't schedule the stream because... I don't know. I just didn't. <laughs> I, I like... This is this is my first sister delve stream in I don't know, a month month and change, and I I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel when I woke up. Like I I had a feeling it was gonna be fine, but like you never really know. And I didn't want to get people excited only to turn around and be like, hey, sorry, I'm not feeling it. What is going on here? Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Let's. I want to go home. This it's too scary out here. I keep dying. I've died twice, but that's too many. Oh no, another one! No, get away from me! 
Can you run? No, you can sneak. Could you not kill me, please? There we go. Catch me now. <laughs> I'm a skeleton gliding through a forest with Counting Crows playing in the background. Something like this happened in GTA, right? Oh no, an alligator? I'm not going to dive into the water again. Keep doing distro delves? I just got to do them less. I think that's the key. Oh my god, that alligator is still trying to get me. Here we go. Come on. Oh, it, just, it takes a second to build up speed with that. Come on, we can do this. I might be away from him now. I guess I could have fought him. He's just an alligator. How strong could he be? Hey, Full Metal. So what do you guys think of the time? I get started way earlier. I feel like that's better for most people except for folks that are on the west coast of the states. I was I talked about it a lot when I when the stream started, but basically when I stream later in the day I kinda have to borrow time from everybody else that might need me. But I got a house full of people that might need me. Distro Delves is always uh always good. It's a nice de stressor. I, I appreciate that. That's good. This is way better, seven thirty for you. You like the time you just wish and wish you knew? Maybe I'll do a, uh, like a community post before I think about going live, like a day or two before. <clears throat> it depends that you're in Germany, so it's perfect. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. For a lot of people, this is a way better time. And in, like I said, it's a better time for me because everybody in the house is still sleeping. Am I still on Solus? No, I'm on Debian testing. I talked about that at the beginning. <laughs> or just schedule the stream a day before. Yeah. Oh, we're glitching out. There you go. What's FUBAR? FUBAR 2000 is an advanced freeware audio player. Opera? We like Opera, right? Opera is the good one, or is that Vivaldi? What is this? WeeBots is a free and open source. Hold on, what's next? I thought I had more Collective Soul, but I guess not. What else could we play? What could we go out on, actually? What song do we, do we want to go out on? I've played The Doors before. YouTube is so weird about what it lets me play. Some songs are okay. I played Fatboy Slim once and I got banned immediately. So that's off the off the table. Um should have prepared. Can we play some Jane's Addiction. Is that okay, YouTube? You might eventually switch from Chrome to Brave. Fubar's fun. Opera's a bad one. Let's check. Let's take a look at WeeBots. So Debian with which DE? It's my own custom. Well, it's not custom. It's just GNOME, but it's got a lot of extensions. It has my own custom look and feel. I'll show it to you guys one day. What is this? Just a car? Allows you to create 3D simulation models of robots interacting with their environments and stuff. Robot controller programs can be written outside of WeBots or WebBots in C, C++, Python, ROS, Java, or MATLAB. Why would you do that in MATLAB? 
Yeah. Firefox current design is just eating up too much virtual real estate. Somebody asked, I actually, I think it was you, uh, Rive, what my husky was doing, and, and he is currently laying on his bed doing this. Actually, he's probably more like this. Like, you can't, no, more like that, actually. You can't even see his nose. There, that's basically him. There you go, look at that. Huskies are the best. If you get cold, stop, drop, and swirl. Yes. A husky roll. They are the most charismatic. What is going on here? Did you see that? It was all glitched out. Oh my god, this is uh, Swing. It's Java. This is kind of crazy. Click auto. Did it lock up? Like, I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> you don't remember asking? I don't know. Somebody asked. I thought it was you. Oh man, this is something. System is below the minimal requirements. You can try to reactivate some. Actually, that's something we didn't check. Do we have GL GLX info? We do. Oh no, the song's about to end. We are running Mesa 21.2. You like shepherds? Well, you know what? I have, I have a uh, German shepherd and a husky. All right, I'm gonna play you guys out. I'm gonna play you guys out with, uh, should've looked at the title, this is Ubuntu, didn't realize it was. Oh, wait, did it just, oh, it scrolled up. That was weird, the chat scrolled all the way up. <laughs> My German Shepherd's pretty old, though. I think she's 14. But yeah. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Whoa, what happened to the background? What are we looking at? This, is, this isn't the background. It like zoomed in or something. Oh no, it switched to this. I thought that we chose this earlier. Oh well. Space. <laughs> uh, yeah, grandma puppy. Yeah, we call her uh, old lady dog. both out there sleeping. Uh, all right. Time for me to wrap it up. I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream. This was nice. I don't know when I'll do the next Distro Delve stream. But I, I think that I can commit to one more this month. What monitor? Sorry for out... Uh, what monitor do I have? I've got a... Uh, does this tell me, I wonder? It's not an integrated express, I can assure you of that. This is a HP, uh, it says it's an HP 24F, and it's a 75 hertz monitor. It's okay. I should really upgrade to something. I, I don't think I would upgrade to 4K, I'd probably go 2K. But it's okay. So I've got a whole bunch of streams planned for this month. A bunch of spooky ones. Mostly gaming related. But if you guys want a super spooky Distro Delves stream towards the end of the month, then we might be able to make something work. Which keyboard am I using? This is a Red Dragon K... K something. 
But yeah, the keys do sound really nice, don't they? That's a good one. Any Halloween themed distros? I looked for them, but I couldn't really find much. If you guys, if you guys know of any good Halloween distros or Halloween themes, that could be cool. I couldn't even I couldn't even easily find a Halloween background. Oops. You should try doing a Steam Fest demo. See how Proton handles all the new games. That could be fun, but I think this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for sticking around, folks, and I look forward to seeing you all again. There will be there'll be a, there'll be streams next week. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow morning. Probably not, but I definitely will stream next week. I've got Alien, and I've got a whole bunch of really fun stuff planned. What about a Halloween theme? If you find one, let me know. You can open an issue on the Distro Delves GitHub or like tweet it to me. However, just let me know if you find anything Linux and Halloween related so that we can do it. I'll make a special stream of it. But that's it, folks. I'll see you guys on the interwebs or the next time I stream, which will be on the interwebs. But that's it. Thanks for stopping by. It was great having you guys. 